This is the Roidme Eva, a smart and fully autonomous cleaning robot. Compared to similar robot vacuums, this one truly is fully autonomous. It is self-emptying and self-cleaning for up to 60 days. And what really sets this one apart are the wet cleaning capabilities, which are also fully autonomous. So how is this even possible? Well, there is a small hint right here. So let's find out in this episode of In-Depth with Chris presented by Tech Magnet. So let's get right to it. Roidme reached out to us with their brand new product and I personally was very impressed, but let's start with the unboxing. So this is the box. It has two carrying handles, definitely manageable. So on top we have this warning sticker. That's the left side, the right side. On this side we have the detailed specifications, although not in English, but we can manage. This right here is the robot vacuum and this right here is the base station. Also this is one of these carrying handles. You already saw the front side. Actually this might be the front side. Here we have it, the newest Roid Me invention. So excited about it. Let's open it up. Interesting pattern. So here we have this envelope right here, paperwork and also two of these mops. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's remove this. And there we have the vacuum and the base station. Can we unwrap it? Let's remove the vacuum first. Yep. Oh my goodness. Looking so nice. Okay, this should make it easier. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to grab the plastic bag and lift it out with the bag. Although, seems like you can do it. I will try to grab the base station itself. So I was able to grab it right here. And there we have it. Nothing else in the box. More accessories. So, first of all, a spare pair of these mops, dual mopping system. This is what they look like. Then let's take a look at this nicely made black envelope. So right here, let's open it up and this will slide out for a fan. Oh, nice. Well, I can't read it, but maybe you can. This is what it looks like. Black and gold, really nice. And then we also have the manual. Okay, so aside from the symbols that I don't understand, there are nice looking illustrations right here, right here. Things to know about the app, I guess. More infos about the buttons, the components, more info about the base station. And that's about it, right. Lastly, this box with spare parts and also the cable. So these are spare dust bags, a spare filter and a spare brush. And in here we have the power cable for the base station. Although I will have to exchange this one to fit my EU sockets. So to recap, the paperwork, the cable and quite a few spare parts for the vacuum and also for the base station. So here we go, the base station and the robot vacuum. It's looking really clean, like the design is pretty much flawless. That's the vacuum right here with the sensor up here. Lighter slam robot designed by Roidme. It's so sturdy. Let's remove these foam inserts. Also look at the details. It's looking really, really nice. On the back side, we have the contacts for charging. And on the bottom, we have the spinning mops, the wheels, the triple brush data, and this rotating vacuum well brush. And you can also open it up manually, of course, inspect the dust compartment. And this one is for the self-emptying. It will get sucked out right here. So amazing. And for this feet, we of course need the base station. So right here we have four buttons and you can open it up like so. And this is basically where the magic happens. Also with a few instructions on how to use it. Although I can read it, I can at least look at the pictures. Massive tanks. Right. 
and we also have this dust compartment very thought through nice filter in here as well these are the water tank connectors and what i love the most about it are details like this when you pull out this compartment the dust compartment you pull on this strap and first of all it will close this hole and then you will pull it out like these little details i love it can you hear this in here is a switch that will register if it's in or not so nice right here we have the display and down here we have the docking area for the robot vacuum and this was <laughs> this was somewhere in here and hey look at that it's a little secret brush and yeah it will hide in here although i will have to remove this label that's better i'm pretty sure that i will forget that this thing is in here just like that yep there we have it and that's what it looks like docked this thing is looking incredible the future is literally now universal cleaning robot let's test it before we get to the testing and the setup here are the main features self-cleaning self-emptying self-drying mopping and vacuuming all in all five features in one device and it has five cleaning modes 360 degrees room scanning 3200 pa suction power 12 newton pressurized mopping it is smart home ready over the me app you can command it via alexa or google and also you can control it over the app now let's get to the best part the base station this part is what makes the robot autonomous for a very long time especially compared to standalone robots it cleans the mops it dries the mops and it can collect dust for up to 60 days it's also the water reservoir for the clean and for the dirty water and of course it charges the device so it is indeed hands-free here are the specifications it features a four liter water tank which separates clean water from dirty water the base can collect dust for up to 60 days it's an antibacterial dust bag with a three liter capacity the mops measure four inches it can cover up to 200 square meters it has a 360 degrees lighter scanner the robot vacuum weighs 4.2 kilograms and the base station weighs 9.8 kilograms runtime up to 220 minutes and obstacles up to two centimeters this is already the most interesting robot vacuum that i've ever seen but now it is time to get real so let's see what this thing can do so this is my bathroom i'm trying my best to keep it organized keep it somewhat minimalistic and I was looking for the perfect place for the robot vacuum and I think I found it right there glorious spaceship interior this is fitting perfectly in here so let's plug in this cable all right let's turn on this socket here we go so check this out it's already communicating now looking for the Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's get to the setup. So it's the next day. As you can see, I have exchanged the cable with a proper one, with a short one. And I also brought distilled water. For now, I will feed the base station just the best of the best. I can't get over the fact that it's just looking so cool. Charging. Next on the list would be to download the app. So it's easy to find. Let's get it. So here we go. Let's take a closer look. Sign in with the me account. So there we go, I'm signed up. Let's add a device. I'm not sure if I need to connect to the base station or to the vacuum. Please wipe the edge sensor and move the device away from edges to start. Click plus at the upper right on the ASHOP homepage. Ah, here's a QR code, let's try this one. Fail to bind. Hmm. All right, I just figured out how to solve this. You need to press the home and the spot cleaning button. Press and hold these simultaneously. Wi-Fi is reset. This will reset the Wi-Fi. And now when I click on plus, it will actually find it. That's it right there, by the way. Nice. Now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi and go. Start configuring network. Wi-Fi is connected. Perfect. Okay, we can set a name and let's start experiencing. Okay, so let's see. Keep the ground free of water. No-go zones. All right. Okay. Right, when you remove the mobs, then it will only vacuum. Okay, let's go. So before we do the flat scan, let's actually fill up the tank. The blue one is the fresh water tank. Gray one for the gray water. That's genius. 
So I just fill it up with distilled water right up to the max. That's the cap. Let's put it back in. rest should be fine. We are ready to go. Usually I remove the carpet, believe it or not, but the trickiest part is actually this black obstacle. It's fairly steep and my other robot vacuum thinks that it's a cliff. So the depth sensors, they get tricked by this black part right here. And sometimes it won't leave this room. So we will see if that's an issue for this one as well. I also have another one of those, but this one so far never presented a problem. Then here we also have quite a few obstacles. This one is a bit tricky and also this piano stand is quite <laughs> tricky sometimes. Start cleaning. Whoa. Start okay, so it's now building the map. Let's see. Map building finished. Start cleaning. Um, actually, let's pause, pause cleaning. and start recharging. Okay, now it can find the base. So that's what it just did. It thought that that's a cliff right here. As expected, let's try collect dust and wash. Okay, just for fun. Oh wow, that's loud. Wow, that is really loud. Okay, one more time. Start cleaning, let's see. Start cleaning. Oh, oh wow. As you can see, it just went over the line. Oh, here we go. This might look bad. But trust me, this is the same for every robot vacuum. There are even carpets with a black stripe, with a black strip, that will trick them. And also carpets like this one, they just mess everything up. And that's why I always remove mine. But now I'm a bit confused because it should actually build the map first. So maybe I should delete the map and start over. Let's just continue the cleaning and then I will see. So the cleaning is done. The mapping feature is brilliant. I mean, look at that. You can zoom in here, check out the path, the exact path that the vacuum has taken. So that is amazing, works perfectly. By the way, check this out, 27 square meters of cleaning area and it took 33 minutes. Now let's solve the last issue, which would be the toilet problem. So I would need to drop a virtual wall. Oh, so you need to zoom out when you click this, it will just drop somewhere. Then you can zoom in here and move it. Let's move it over here. Yeah, I want to bring it like right there, I guess. So it's looking good to me. Done. So check this out. It's now there. That was simple. Yeah. And lastly, I also want to use a mopping functionality for this run through. Well, before that map management, let's save this map. Okay, save successfully. Oh, you can also rename it. You can set two cycles or one and that's the cleaning mode right here. So I was only sweeping. Now there is only mop, but I want of course both. Standard power and max standard should be good enough. Okay, and lastly, little app walkthrough. So first of all, you have the forbidden area or virtual walls, like the one that I set here in my toilet area. You can edit your flat into sections, into partitions. You can manage your maps, rename them like I did for mine. You can set up a cleaning schedule. You can also check out the cleaning record. That is so cool. Then you can also revisit the map and check out the path that the vacuum took. You can also, no freaking way, you can also play it back. I have never seen this. This is ridiculous. This is amazing. 
So this is one to one what the vacuum did. That is amazing. And right there it got confused. So right there it wanted to go back in here to charge. But it got scared by this black part right here, then it got confused. Then I did a reset right here. But now this should be a thing of the past. You can also send messages or receive them, I guess. Also create a custom cleaning order. We have the general settings right here. Base station settings, voice and volume. Consumables management, so you will get a lifespan for the mop, the sensor, the brushes and the filter. You can also upgrade the firmware. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Check it out. The vacuum just flew out and now it's going back to charging. And of course the device information right here. Okay, so the general settings, the name of the robot, the time zone. You can set a do not disturb time if you want to give the radar priority. Carpet mode and carpet avoidance. Oh no, why is it doing that every time? Base station settings. Oh, that is actually perfect. My apartment definitely is a solo apartment. So, and also the backwashing frequency. Yeah, six minutes is probably the best. You want to keep the mobs clean and that's about it. You can check the partition. So two rooms right here. I need to change that area and point and you can flip the map. Check this out. I just did a partition reset. This is what it gave me. Merging these and now I need to split. Yeah, this is where you enter the flat. Then we have like this room right here. My toilet, my bathroom, my main living area and the kitchen. So you can get totally OCD with this. I love it. But now we of course want to clean the whole map. So let's go. Okay, it's now cleaning the mop. All right, let's go. Nice. There is actually a lot of finesse to this. This is my new layout. I wanted to clean this patch first, then this one and then the large one. So let's see what will happen. When I started the cleaning, I was on the whole map tab. I would have needed to start from the partition tab though, and that's why it ignored my room numbers. So here we go, that was the first successful cleaning cycle. It says 26 square meters and 31 minutes up in the right corner, but the whole ordeal actually took almost an hour, so like 55 minutes. And what I can say by now from the hours of studying it, um, by the way, it ignored my sequence, but never mind. The app is pretty great. The thing itself is pretty great. The cleaning capabilities are awesome too. The only thing that's not on point yet is the pathfinding capabilities. So as you can see, it's just not efficient in this aspect whatsoever. When it gets to the route, right, cleaning a record right here. Let's wait until it's done. See what I mean? What is it doing? Eventually it will get there, but it's, it is hard to watch, but I think this can easily get, get improved with firmware upgrades. So now we can go to the cleaning record, whole map cleaning. As I said, it disregarded my custom sequence. It started here and it went, it did this area right here. Then it went there, got back to uh, cleaning the mobs. Then it did this area. This is the only really dirty area in my flat. Then it went up to here, got back washing. And then it did the outlines, did this area washing again washing once more the kitchen more stuff in between i guess and then it did something weird one more time cleaning and then it just went like i don't know what it did then it was like stuck there for a brief moment was like thinking and then yeah did, did you see this all this weird going around like that's what i'm talking about the pathfinding capabilities need to be improved for sure. But this is thankfully just a, a software issue. Hardware is, is fine. And the cool thing is that you can just look for the error 
with the app so the app is definitely the best well aside from the amazing robot is the app is so cool by the way i elongated my wall because there is a ladder in here and i don't want this thing to touch the ladder as well that's working perfectly i need to improve this of course but that's an issue with my flat and not necessarily with the robot so let's see how much water we used Oh, okay, so that's quite a lot actually. There's like more than two thirds of it. So using this with distilled water is definitely expensive. It's using more water than expected. So yeah, I will just use regular tap water from now on, I guess. Clean water tank is and let's Please see. Oh my, oh my, are you kidding me? Wow, <laughs> this is actually dirty. I can't believe it. I have never mopped my flat, but I didn't expect it to be this dirty. This is crazy. So as you can see, it actually works. Look at that, you can so easily remove the mops. Device is off the ground. Please put it back on the ground to start. You just need to pull it out. It's like magnetic. Wow, that is crazy. This is perfect for cleaning it. Wow, that is, that is amazing. But other than that, it's still looking brand new. So far, so good. Removing this for cleaning. For cleaning is also simple. Then you can just rinse it or just wipe it dry. Perfect. And this is the last test. It's the next day and I'm going for a fully autonomous cleaning session with the timer, but I, I turned off the light so you can't see anything. So great, but everything worked out fine. So let's review the cleaning protocol. So here we go. It just did a full cleaning cycle on its own. As you can see, no issues right here. It's back in the base. I wasn't at home, but I was able to view it live over the app, which I did. <laughs> that is awesome. But as you can see, well, it's not yet in the cleaning record. The path is still on the map. So I somehow need to get this over into the cleaning record. And by the way, I did this with this regular cleaning option right here in the app. Time was 12 o'clock PM and you can only do the whole map. Let's also inspect the vacuum. Okay, so this is still wet. I would suggest to just remove them. Exit and also this. I will just put this in my shower for drying. Okay, and now that I did this, the cleaning session got completed, I guess. And now it's actually in the cleaning record. So check it out. Perfect. It's not lost. Oh, 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 oh. There, the, hmm, what will happen? Let's watch the cleaning record. So first of all, the blue room, just like last time, I suppose. No, this, oh yeah, that's different. I don't know why, but now it did the, uh, well, the green room before the yellow room. I have no idea why, but it's not a, not a big issue, of course. Okay, all the outlines of the green room now. Okay, perfect. No big issue with the, with the mop washing, it seems. Okay, another wa mop washing. Yeah, perfect. Definitely reassuring. This is so cool that you can just check what the robot did. I love that. Okay, so we're done with the green room. Another washing. Perfect. Okay, we're not done yet. Okay, now we're done, I guess. And now, yeah, now the last room. All right, that's it. Looking great. So there was no weird chittering like on the last session. It found the base station right off the bat. That actually worked perfectly. So apparently Eva doesn't like to be watched. She likes to do her stuff alone and then it's it will also work out perfectly. So good to know. That's all there is to it. So you need a bit of finesse. But yeah, as you saw, it's possible to get this to work pretty perfectly. And I'm super happy with the outcome. So it's not bad. So to conclude my findings, the hardware is great. It's looking amazing. And the app is also <laughs> amazing to say the least. The cleaning record, the scanning, the route tracking, you can make sure that it did the cleaning. You can, if there will be mistakes, you can find them. The only thing that needs improvement is the path finding capabilities. But I'm sure that this is just the beginning for this amazing device. This will for sure get improved with upcoming firmware updates and all in all, 
this is really exciting and as you saw it works the water was dirty and also in here the vacuum also does a great job few little bugs here and there but nothing major just a pathfinding needs to be improved it will work out eventually but there is room for improvement <laughs> for sure but yeah all in all i'm fairly impressed especially for the price because compared to the competitors this is a lot cheaper around like 30 to 50 percent cheaper and when you think about that when you consider this <laughs> It's great, absolutely amazing. So all in all, I can definitely recommend it and I'm sure that it will get even better in the future. This concludes the review. Roid me definitely delivered with their new invention. They came up with a great product, especially for the price tag. So check out the product links in the description if you're interested. And before you go, smash that like button right now, then subscribe, ring the bell and press all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.